and God known by many names, by many different faiths. A man and a woman. Well, 2021 is off to an amazing start. We uh, had the first session of Congress, and the opening prayer was by a man named Emmanuel Cleaver. And he ended his prayer by praying, Amen. <laughs> a man and a woman. <laughs> he said, he said Amen. And then a man and a woman. Okay, okay, I, I can do this. He, he. He ended his prayer by saying amen. And a man <laughs> and a woman. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And a woman. I'm so, I'm so, <sighs> ABC. And a woman. <laughs> I can do this. I can do this. I, I can. And a woman. I can't do this. <laughs> Uh, abcnews.go says Missouri congressman defends uh, the end of prayer. He says U.S. Representative Emanuel Cleaver says he was caught off guard by the negative response after he ended an opening prayer the first day of the new Congress by saying the words Amen. Amen. <laughs> Kansas City, Missouri, U.S. Representative Emanuel Cleaver said he was caught off guard by the negative response after he ended his opening prayer on the first day of the Congress by saying, Amen and a woman. Uh, Cleaver, United Methodist minister and former mayor of Kansas City, Missouri, is in his ninth term in Congress. The old Kansas City star, a woman reference on Sunday, was intended to recognize the record of the record number of women serving in new Congress. And a woman. <laughs> Oh, but it spurred a torrent of criticism from conservatives who accused Cleaver of misunderstanding the meaning of amen, a Hebrew word that means so be it. This is usatoday.com. At times, House Democrats' flippancy toward gender and religion, like ending a prayer with a, a woman. woman, is laughable. <laughs> and a woman. <laughs> and a woman. Oh! The best part about this whole fiasco is that the internet has literally become a tsunami of some of the most golden memes that have ever been created. Uh, people in the animal kingdom are reacting to this news very strongly. The praying mantis has now become the praying wool mantis. People in all over the world are becoming rebellious because they say that these mandates don't apply to me because they aren't woman dates. That's pretty funny. And a woman. <laughs> Disney has also joined suit by releasing a brand new series called The Womandalorian. I bet that'll be interesting. And even Anakin Skywalker is weighing in. Not just the A-men, but the A-woman and the A-children too. I think he needs to see a therapist. Thankfully, I was able to get a hold of Representative Cleaver and ask him one quick question. What is Bruce Jenner? A man and a woman. Now, guys, I have a special guest for you in this video. I was able to get Michael Bolton to come on my YouTube channel and sing a special song for us. And Michael, I see you over there, man. Go ahead and sing us that song. A man, a woman. You go, Michael. You're the best. <laughs> guys, what this is, this is nothing more than political correctness. And these people that are political correctness have their own religion. And they they pretend like they're Christians. I mean, you know, anybody anybody who knows, like a first grader could know what amen meant. It, it has nothing to do with gender. It's not even a gendered word. So to say something like that is completely ridiculous. This is a facade of Christianity uh, placed over the religion of wokeness. And we've dealt with all that in God's millstone. We've got several videos about that. Uh, but guys, listen, these people in politics, they are... They're they're not Christians. They don't know the Lord, uh, especially you know at least the the at least people on the Republican side. Many of them are Catholic, but at least they wouldn't do something like that. To them, that's ridiculous. But uh, that's what's going on in the world of politics, which tells me as a Christian, don't put any hope in these politicians. Our hope is in the Lord. Our hope is in Jesus Christ, and uh, and we can we cannot look to these people that do stuff like this to save our nation. And to provide for us, protect us, and do all that kind of stuff. Because these people are crazy. Your hope's in the Lord. And let that be so.
Guys, if you want to, please check out our Teespring store. We've got several good shirts like the one I'm wearing here. Also, feel free to join our YouTube channel. We do a Monday night live stream of Bible study every Monday night. Also, subscribe to our channel if you haven't done so already. And uh, we look forward to seeing you guys very soon. God bless you. Thank you very much.